So in order to install your your lab on an environment, you need some sort of like ESXi host or virtual box of some sort like that, um, or a service that you have uh, virtual servers in. Anyway, so how do you get that? You you can download VirtualBox, which is recommended if you don't want to. Uh, if you want to go the um, non-payment route, just download VirtualBox. It's free. So just type in your Google A search bar there, and um, and then just uh, first link right. It's called Oracle VirtualBox. This allows you to actually host or to have virtual machines inside your computer. Basically, it's a um, environment inside your computer that you can install virtual machines on. Many, you know, it depends on how big your uh, how much memory you have, right? Um, so click on one of the links, the virtual box. And at the time of this, uh, it's uh, virtual box 5.2. So most likely you have a 64 bit OS. So um, let's click on download a virtual box. Click on uh, the um, virtual box 5.2.18 uh, platinum plat platform packages. Click on the Windows hosts. When it's done, um, downloading right click on it runs administrator and let's go through the steps okay we're gonna just uh, leave everything default and uh, click next okay so custom setup we're just gonna leave everything uh, default checked and click next so what this means is um, it's gonna create another interface network interface card for your computer uh, that's just for uh, VirtualBox and this is why you're going to get this error like warning network interfaces are going to restart and will be unavailable right uh, it's just temporary so we're going to click uh, yes and let's do install okay let's click finish and let's start um, Oracle VirtualBox so we're going to actually uh, update our extension pack as well so we're going to download that from the internet so it's going to give us um, USB 3.0. It's going to give us um, webcam capabilities, disk encryption, and then uh, NVMe capabilities. Click on upgrade, then scroll down, read all that, of course. Agree. And successfully um, upgrade the or installed the extension pack. We have we have VirtualBox. We have the extension pack. All that's ready, right? So now let's just simulate like a new um, computer. Go to new, type in, um, in our case we just typed in Ubuntu server and click next. You're going to give it the amount of memory you needed. Um, if you only have, you know, four gig of RAM on your computer, you want to you want to play around with this and install um, a server that doesn't take a lot of memory up. Linux, I would start with Linux, like maybe Linux Mint, Ubuntu, um, Puppy Linux, just to name a few, Fedora is a good one. Very nice uh, feel for that. It does take memory, but it's a, it's a, although there is versions of it that don't take a lot of memory, but that's a very nice one as well, Fedora. We're going to give ours like 512 RAM or something like that. And click Next. A couple different options. Um, based on like Linux, it'll tell you recommended size is 10 gig. This doesn't create a uh, thick client. This is just like uh, a bottle of a kit, let's say, imagine like a uh, glass of water or an empty glass, if you will, right? Um, empty glass being 10 gig. But your install could only be like a gig. That's all your install. So it's only going to take up as much as it needs. But the container's still there to say, okay, I'm, I'm a, I have this much, I can use this much, but I'm only going to take how much I need. And that's uh, probably most likely. Um, the simplest way I can I can explain it uh, for thick and thin clients. So we're going to do uh, create a new hard drive, virtual hard drive. Okay, if you wanted to, so difference between these three, right? You have the VDI, not virtual desktop information or in interface, if you will, like Citrix VDI, not that. Uh, virtual box disk image. That's the cleanest, leanest. Um, virtual hard drive basically it uses. The other one you have is VHD. Typically that's used on Hyper-V 
or any windows. And then you have VMDK. Those are typically used in, in Win uh, rather ESXi host or VMware. So for instance, if you got to a point where you were just standing up a virtual box because you want to one day uh, actually send it over to an ESXi host, and then you would use VMDK that way. Um, so we're going to select uh, VDI actually and click next. Dynamically allocated versus fixed size. Fixed size is again a glass of water or a cup of water or a container and um, it says okay 10 gig. Okay I'm going to allocate that 10 gig just for you right the, the cup if you will. And you put it, you're, no matter how much information you put in, I'm going to allocate that 10 gig. Versus dynamic allocated is you have that, that container and you're only going to use, you know, one gig or something like that. Um, that's the difference between the two, actually. Same thing as thick and thin client. Thin client meaning, uh, thin client is like dynamic, thick client is like fixed size. Click next. Here's where we go. We can select how much how much space uh, first you can select where the uh, hard drive is going to be stored that's really key so if you have a, a NAS a network attached storage device you can point it there so your 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 Windows box doesn't get uh, a lot of memory or rather a lot of hard drive space taken up you can just send it somewhere else you can even send it to a, uh, a USB hard drive if you wanted to and that's where you click on here and you can send it wherever you want and it puts it in a default location virtual box but again you can put it anywhere you want and again the size even though it says 10 gig it's not actually going to be 10 gig unless it's fixed size then it'll be 10 gig but since it's dynamically allocated it's going to be however uh, much data that install takes so we're going to click on create there you go so you do this with Windows, you can do it with Linux. Um, if you wanted to actually um, put a, a, an ISO file on it, you right click on it and you select settings, click on storage, click on empty, almost looks like a spinning disk, click on the optical drive, choose the location of your Linux uh, Ubuntu server. attach the Linux ISO file and then click OK. After that click on the actual VM and right click and click start. And just follow the tutorial or follow the actual um, steps installing uh, Ubuntu or Rockstore or Windows or whatever OS you have. Thank you for viewing this tutorial. If you like this video and you want to see more please jump on to my course, which is, I have two courses. One is at getajobnit.teachable.com, and the other course is on Udemy. It's Learn Backup and Restore with Commvault, Get a High Paying Job. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just type in Gary McNeely or Commvault Whisperer. There's some good content there related to this. If you would, could you click on the subscribe button and click on notifications? Thank you very much.